Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. This is episode 1,459, recorded Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Put a cork in it. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by iFixit. You can fix it, and iFixit makes it easy. With step-by-step -step repair guides, high-quality replacement parts, and all the tools you'll need. For $10 off your purchase of $50 or more, go to iFixit.com slash twit and enter the code Gizwiz at checkout. And now, get ready for Dick! This week, we have a KMV, a place for your monitor, and I'm gonna help you eat right. All on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D. And, and OMG Chad. On TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! now it is time for the Gizwiz with Mads, Mads writer, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dick? I'm fine, sir, and you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Uh, we are recording this a little bit early because right now I'm actually on a cruise. And where are you cruising to? I'm uh, cruising currently in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. I'm going to Honduras. Oh. Uh, Belize and Cozumel. I think. Wow. Yes, I think. And what's uh, are there events there, or are these are just places you want to see? Just places I want to see. And um... are you escaping bad debts in Petaluma? <laughs> <Right. laughs> you know th that uh, that software that I made, uh, Macachad, isn't turning oh, out so hot. The, so, the Petaluma oh. market is pursuing you yeah. because you didn't pay for that, that candy tab bar that I've kept open yeah. uh, for a long time. Is uh, uh, is uh, that guy was selling his car? I should buy it. Um, I thought it had some other interesting thing on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so so I'm I'm hanging out in the Gulf of Mexico area in the in the Yucatan Peninsula. Hey, having a good time. Yeah. Okay. And what's the internet shit? costs are expensive for us to live stream oh, from there. Uh, they are and the green about screen is looking perfect. Yeah. For anyone I think on it's audio, a you might an hour for internet on the ship. Yeah. Unless yeah. you buy a package, it in which case... Weird. They sell packages for internet, but they sell it based off of time, not off of megabytes. Right. Which means there's no reason that they should give you fast internet. Like, oh, no. No <laughs> and they're reason. Not. And they're not. And they're not. It's like, no. it's like before dial-up speeds. It's like right. worse Well, you than know, when you go ashore, you might be able to get some tweets out real quick from right. uh, an internet cafe or something. And that's what we're doing. Instead of instead of um, boat data, we're we're going for phone data. And so whenever we land at a port of call, we'll be able to um, to send messages oh, back and forth. Check check great. Email. And what so, ship yeah. is it? It is the shoot. Um, it's the, it's just a really interesting boat, boat called Shoot. So. Uh, <laughs> the SS Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that one. Um, I don't remember. I'm looking it up. Uh, it's, is it like a, a real ship line that this is yeah, on? Yeah, I'm on Princess. Princess Cruises. Oh, Princess. Okay. okay. Um, Jammer B wonders if it's the good ship Lollipop. <laughs> good ship Lollipop. Isn't that a song? <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly what song, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, if I go to my princess, my boat is the uh, Western Car Caribbean Princess is the ship name. The okay. Caribbean princess. That was was easy. Should have just guessed. That sounds just like me. Yeah, really you should. Does. Yes, I think when you walk up the gangplank, you should have that playing, and you should strut up like just like that. I should wear that uh, that yeah. dress too. Yeah, this is Chad as a youngster. Yeah, I don't totally. know where we got this video. Shirley Temple. Oh, I mean Chad had yeah, red Chad hair then Temple. too. Yep. 
Do you think people would be as enamored as they are of Shirley Temple if I just start <laughs> singing to random? I'm a it's a ship <laughs> on a lollipop. And they'd be like, get this guy I off. I would say the by the <laughs> third day you could do that. I would not open with yeah, that. Yeah, totally. I would, you know, ingratiate myself to the guests. And sometimes and, you know, they have, you know, talent shows. And I feel like I should really join one and start what singing would the, If they had a talent show... Uh -huh. What would you go? What would your talent be? Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, normally, saying? normally they're they're kind of structured. So normally it's like the Harry Man contest, you know, show, or or they're having like a horse race or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but what would it be this time, Chad? <laughs> think, think about it really <laughs> thought, hard. What, what would, what would it be? The category to... is um, talent show. Talent. Talents that I have, which is actually very difficult to think of. Do I have any talents? <laughs> I mean, there's the red hair talent. There's the speaking on the Gizwiz talent. Um, balloon animal making. I can make balloon no, animals. No. There you go. There, there you go. go. I yeah. knew if we spent Jeff enough time, we could find a talent <laughs> that we could attach to you. Something that, something that something. I'm talented in. Yeah, it was difficult, actually. It took a long time. Uh, well, that's good, because now on the ship, you can just jump right up with that. You don't have to go through the thinking process. We actually kind of did you a favor by honing into your honing in, by honing into your talent uh, before you board the ship. Yeah. So well, now I, I now carry... I just need a balloon pump and some balloon animal balloons. Yeah, take them with you, pal. Yeah. That could be a claim they don't to take fame. Up, they don't take up much space in a bag, nope. so nope. you can take a lot with you, actually. No. Nope. Yeah. Nope. And and bring back uh, bring back a video for the Gizwiz. That would be fun. Is there anything that I need to capture while on while on the cruise? I mean, I wonder what gadgets would be on a boat. Mm. Well, the sh hopefully radar, <laughs> sonar. Radar. I could ask the captain if I just bar barge onto the bridge. Yeah. Say. Just say, hey, Cap, can I uh, steer for a bit? Hey, Captain, can you let a guy yeah. with some crazy red hair onto your bridge? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although you will find it depressing because they now steer with a joystick. So you can go into these mammoth ships. And the captain's sitting there going, Everyone's just asleep, really. It's just GPS. They've figured out, how, you know, everyone's trying to get the autonomous vehicle thing worked out. They got the autonomous boat thing figured out ages ago. Except the docking is still, yeah. I don't think the GPS, uh, you know, the docking is the thing. When you're moving, you know, 8 million tons of steel yeah. into a dock, yeah. you don't want to go it take, too like, far. hours for them to stop the boat? Like it, takes, it doesn't take hours, but it takes a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. that's so yeah. insane. I could not imagine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So we're actually recording this on Monday. Um, uh, I'm not actually connected via satellite to the Twit Brickhouse studio. Don't shatter the illusion. Darn it. I should have not broken that fourth wall. I was wondering because the cameras seem to be waving around <laughs> and back and forth. Uh, I thought we just might be on a ship. It is raining anyway. enough in Petaluma that it might we might set sail at any moment. Well, uh, I, I hope we get... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been seasick? <laughs> I do. I, I, I uh, especially, um, I get motion sickness in cars uh, whenever I try to read and, and uh, ride in a car as well. Um, so Not normally I'm drive, taking right? Dramamine and stuff. Okay. I've never Dramamine. tried the pressure point things. Those always seem... Oh, Dramamine works pretty good. Yeah, Dramamine is, is what I'll, I'll probably be taking every day. So yeah, yeah, but I'm excited. This will be like the first time. It's weird because I was truly thinking like I'm not going to have internet for the next week. It's going to be the weirdest feeling to really, because I'm not getting the data plan that my mother's getting for service. And so I'm, I'm not going to have text messages. I'm not going to have phone. I'm not going to have anything. It is going well, to be. you're going to make three stops, weird. right? Yes, yes. Oh. Yep. So it's only going to be like two days a stop. Connect with the world. Yeah, it'll. Yeah, exactly. It'll be. Well, the, here's the thing: is that I'm on. I'm on month to month data with T-Mobile, and they don't. If they do offer international data, it's different, and I was having a hard time getting it. So I'm not even going to get international data. I'm not going to get international texts. 
I'm not going to get international roaming. So I'm planning on keeping my phone off the whole time, basically. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I look at my, uh, the details on my, uh, cruise, this? uh, the first, you, you get on the, for the first day and then you, I think it's two days. Oh man, there's, this is not. Should I not show this? I don't, I don't know. To be <laughs> honest, I have it. no idea. Uh, there should be a cruise ship per, I, this website is so bad. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're spending some time on the on the sea, and then you'll go into a port of call. And I think that that we have two ports of call right back to back, a day, and then another port of call, and then another day back home. Um, for, for was that. it leave from the Petaluma, the Turning Basin, or what do you uh, have to Houston. go to Houston? Houston. Oh, same, same. Oh thing. my Houston. word. Okay. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, right. yeah. So we're, I'm going to fly down to Houston on Friday. And then I get on the boat on Saturday, and then we get back on Saturday. And I'm going to have just enough time to fly back to help produce Twit in that next Sunday. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. Full of seafaring stories. Yes, absolutely. My Tales of the Mermaids, I'll have them on that Sunday. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Tale of Mermaids yeah. sounds perfect. Yeah. So what do you got for us this week, Dick? Well, uh, first was uh, my partner bought a new uh, Dell Tower. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had an HP tower, and uh, he said, you know, I'm going to hook up the Dell Tower, but I don't want to give up my old computer right away, so you think I should buy a second monitor so that I can, you know, have access to both computers until I totally move everything over to the Dell? And I said, well, there's something you can use where you'll be able to hook both your towers to your new, he had just bought, also bought a new Vizio uh, monitor, a 23 inch flat screen monitor that he liked. So I bought him uh, a KMV switch from uh, IOGear. And so the, the uh, KMV switch KVM. is, lets him use, it, it's keyboard video mouse. So it lets him use both his towers to the one monitor. And years ago, Belkin had a wireless model. I think it was like 60 bucks. Little two port thing is, I think it's under 20. You know, you have it up on the screen there now. I can't remember the price. Yeah, 23.99. 23.99. Yeah, okay. Way better and, than getting a second monitor. Yeah, and and what's really nice about the IO gear is. Everything, all the wire, everything's connected. Mm -hmm. So you take it out of the box. It took me less than five minutes to, uh, the, the two monitor cables go to each monitor. And then, uh, I mean, the, <laughs> the one goes to the monitor and then both towers, you, put, you hook the uh, monitor outputs to this little box. Comes with a little wired remote that you can attach to the side of your... Uh, desk or side of the monitor. I stupidly left mine laying on the desk, and one day I came in and I put a bunch of papers down, <laughs> and I switched. looked up and I said, "Why is my monitor black?" Yeah. And I rebooted it, and it, 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 I was getting <laughs> nothing on. The so it turned out the uh, other computer I had was off. You're right. And when I put the things down, I put them down on the switch, and it switched to the off monitor, the off computer, and I had a black monitor. Um, uh, I didn't need. If you don't want sound, if if you don't need the mic and audio hookup, you can get a different one from IO Gear, which is only seventeen dollars. That lets you use the monitors, but there'll be no sound and no mic. Uh, connection f to uh, share between the t the uh, two computers, but boy, the the hooking up could not be easier. And it doesn't matter if it's Windows or uh, Mac; just has to be Windows XP or higher, or Mac uh, OS nine or higher. So they are really neat and yeah. pretty ch neat and cheap. Yeah, we uh, we use KVMs here at Twit all the time. In fact, I bet. Uh, we have an eight port and an eight, uh, eight, you know, input eight solution. Port. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, on the uh, TD desk, and it's funny because we actually you can take a KVM and plug it into a KVM. So we actually have 
uh, 97 computers and one monitor. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. So if you like set your KVM so, to the so other you KVM, think, then you K can switch that KVM. KVMception. It, yeah, it, yeah, it goes in insane. And so, so we have uh, 15 computers hooked up downstairs, and uh, we have eight computers up here, and um, yeah, we we use it all the time, uh, and there, it, it's wonderful because you got you got, and then we even have this really crazy laptop like setup thing down in the in the we have a really cool pull out interface um at the uh, uh the racks the server racks downstairs but yeah that was, that's great that's wonderful and a lot of people don't know that you can do this for a lot less expensive than uh, <laughs> yes, yes. than a new uh, monitor yeah that's that's the cheapy one that's the one that doesn't give you a Audio, uh, yeah. you share speakers or mic and that guy is 17 bucks or under 17 bucks. Yeah, I, th I think at the moment it's 22, but um, you know that'll change around. That'll. Oh, yeah. you know it, it, it is very funny. They they do when I bought it, it was 17. Without, without sound was 17, and with sound was 26. Yeah. You know what I also noticed? It's very weird. Sometimes I think when we do something that everybody is enamored with, I find that within two days it goes up five dollars. Yep. So I think they have some little uh, algorithm in there that when they see things are selling really, really well, they go, ooh, yep. it's just... Or even if they had like five in stock and then they go out of stock and they go, whoa, slow down, let's raise the price. Because yeah, <laughs> yes. obviously demand is high and supply is low. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I, I think that does happen. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's really neat. And uh, I'm glad that there's something... Like the one that we have is so commercial and it has tons of options and and it has its own little like rack unit thing this is perfect for the house yeah no this is yeah and, and perfect for the novice because it's, it's very easy to set up right and right. you don't need anything else no software no power supply right hook it right uses usb plug and play plug and play has anybody yeah. ever used that expression before <laughs> I, wonder. I wonder i wonder i wonder i wonder well that is really cool from io gear uh to port IO gear. system uh, okay, another computer gadget from Satechi, S-A-T-E-C-H-I, which I think is very clever, and that's going to be the video of the week, and here it is. Gizwiz with an interesting computer monitor stand from Satechi. This is it here. A lot of these on the market, but uh, I'll tell you why I like this one. I'm going to flip it around to show you, in addition to being a plain old computer monitor stand, here in the front we have four USB ports. They're USB 2.0. We have a microphone jack and a headphone jack. So this moves them to the front of your computer. If you're using a flash drive or something, this is so convenient. Plugging in a headset, you don't have to go to the back of the monitor or the side of the monitor. Then at the bottom, this is the USB cable that goes to your computer. And in the package also is the mic cable and the headphone cable. And there are little jacks up here that you can't quite see that you'll hook those up to your computer. So all the wires will be underneath. They have little tracks for the wires to be in. And then once you stand it up and put the monitor on it, you have a place to put the keyboard underneath. You have storage under there. And if that is too high for you, I'm going to show you that there's a second position. And having the computer uh, monitor at the right height can uh, reduce eye strain, can reduce neck strain, and oh, that's cool. it's good for all those reasons. I'm going to take that. Leg I mean, I out, assume you could use leg, it with just, just those white those feet legs too, in. and yeah. have a third and then position. Then you put the aluminum legs back. Even in. a fourth position. Well, maybe not go. sitting that's all the way place, down there. That's the track. And then you flip it on there. back, and now you have a lower monitor. Uh, $39.99 on Amazon. It's $29.99. Let me that get neat? the box out here. It is the Satechi F1 Smart Monitor Stand. A little quickie note. When I first opened it, I thought, where are the legs? You know, you never read the instructions. <laughs> you, know, you just look. And uh, I folded that down, and they're, they're packed back here. Um, so you don't notice them when you uh, just open the box. So don't throw the box out before you remove the legs. There it is, F1 Smart Monitor from 
Satechi, S-A-T-E-C-H-I. Actually, I wish they hadn't used that name because I could be Sir Techie. The Gizwiz, Dick D. Bartolo, man's maddest writer, and the Gizwiz. Bye. Bye. And hey, welcome back. Yeah, hi. Hey. So that's hey. pretty neat, isn't it? Hey, that is neat. I actually really, really like that. Forever, I used um, what's called a hinge dock, and it it's a completely different um, idea. But I loved having basically your ports available right there um yes and yes it's that's it's, it's super great and i assume once usb 3 really gets popular they'll do a you know a 3.0 version right and it wouldn't you know it wouldn't hurt i don't know how much wiring it would take it would be great if we could also have a an sd card slot on the side yeah you could really kind of go all out with uh with ports right there on the front yeah of it. um yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah, okay, so you're on their website. It is cheaper on Amazon. I see that they say it's thirty nine ninety nine and it's on sale for thirty five, but it's uh, as of now it's twenty nine on Amazon. It'll probably has it got already gone up on. It's Amazon? It's already gone up on Amazon. Uh, uh, it has. I don't believe it was twenty nine ninety nine two days ago. Thirty four ninety nine. Yep. That is so okay. funny. That is a riot. Street prices will fluctuate, folks. Yes. That is so funny. Um, only one left in stock, it says on Amazon. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. That is so funny. Um, <laughs> but, of course, if, if you've been looking, I mean, one, just having your laptop or, or your monitor up on a stand is nice. And then, two, to have your ports right at the front wonderful yeah. like absolutely yes. great yeah and also a place to stick the keyboard when you're not using right. it right is, is great right all that extra space underneath i fill with chas keys yeah. immediately but and uh you yeah. know i i forgot i measured it so um it's nine inches wide and it's 22 inches long so there's a fair amount of space under there you can when you're not using it your your keyboard and your mouse can go under there yeah yeah and yeah and it looks it matches the style of the computer, you know, if, especially if you use something Apple-esque, but any monitor, it looks like it, it looks stylish. So that is cool. I, I really like that. Um, good, good, good. Perfect. Okay. I guess let's move on to the next uh, Gadget next number gadget. three has yeah. nothing in the world to do, to with, do computers. with computers. Nice. Okay. Nice. But it's a corker. <laughs> and if you go to my little close-up uh camera here you'll see what it is it's bottle light hmm. so bottle light is a cork that can go into any bottle but this is really neat down at the tip you turn it and the cork has an led oh, wow. pull the cork top off and there is a what? USB charging <laughs> port. Because everything it needs to be a everything. USB charging. And we have a little bit of video of what this looks like in various bottles. So, Jason, you want to run that mini video? Look at this. Oh, wow. How long does the light last? Do we know? The light, you, uh, one hour of charging gives you two and a half hours of light. Wow. And something great about this is is it's great mood lighting. Yeah. And also, it's great mood lighting for a picnic. Yeah, the company, bizarrely, is called so, Suck, Suck UK. Suck, Suck UK. UK. <laughs> um, and also, it's great for, like, picnics and stuff out in, yeah. in the dark of the backyard because you don't have to worry about candles blowing out. You, it's yeah. pretty hard to blow out an LED. Yeah, I've uh, tried, man. <laughs> it's brand new. Um, it's going to be 15 bucks. There is a little, um, in addition to the LED light at the end of the cork, there's another LED light that lights up at the side red when you plug it into uh, your computer or even an AC, uh, one of those little converters. And it lights up red. And when the red light goes out, it means it's fully charged. And as I said, you get uh, two and a half hours out of it. Uh, it's going to be about 15 bucks. And it's Suck 
UK. The link is on my website. Mm -hmm. And when you click on it, you can click on Bottle Light and it'll just ask for your email address and that will let you know when it's available. Yeah, j just click on Buy Now, Jason, and see if it still says, uh, give us your... <laughs> that. Does it... Well, it says buy. You click that. Well, I click it. Email it. Yeah. Wow. There yeah email it. Yeah. Okay. So it's not it's not available yet. yet. You know, it's funny. My um, power went out in, in part of my house, and specifically in the bathroom where I don't have any windows, it's really hard to take a shower where I normally close the door. Um, and so I was using candles, and like as I was lighting them, I was like, I never realized exactly how dangerous candles were. Like one cat knock. And this candle is next to all sorts of flammable things. Yeah, but this also, is kinda... isn't it hard keeping a candle lit in the shower? Well, you know, if you if you use those trick candles that you get for oh, yes, birthday parties, yes, yes. perfect. Works great every time. You know what? I figured you would have a solution. Yep, yep. Perfect. Yes. You know, I have, to, I, I have to point out, Suck UK also has a wide assortment of oh, ice. Wow. Uh, makers, including this zombie reaching out of your cocktail. I really Ice love hand. that. That's great. We yeah. might have to order that for later. Crocodile. Oh, crocodile. I mean, seriously. Uh, get Jeff you Needles know, I know, on this is... the horn. So we're, we're having, we are uh, planning on doing, what is it, uh, themed months for, for the, it, it, to keep uh, kind of all the gadgets. And actually, um, my craft that's coming up next is themed for this month. Like, uh, as I mentioned uh, last week, Hope I remember to do that. Um, and one of them is stretchy things. Uh, we want to do sort of gelatin things, and those oh, okay. ice uh, sculptures would be really cool because they're all jelly, I assume. To, uh, what, to what oh. about a little a, a little touch hand for the end oh, of your pen? Touch the end of ice. Oh my gosh, that's cute. That that's is a of... really neat company. Yeah. Yeah. That is super cool. Um, anyway, so so when I was talking about the light going out, it was funny because oh, I was, yes, yes, I was going ahead. from my my uh, bedroom to my living room, and there's been construction going on, and so they've been drilling in stuff. So I'm hearing all these, you know, they're drilling in uh, screws and stuff like that, and so I'm hearing them drilling in this screw, and it goes, and you know, it ends. He he lands it, and then all the lights go off. Oh my god! And uh, and anyway, so I thought you know this would be a perfect thing instead of having an open flame. You you throw a few bottles, which I definitely have a few bottles laying around. Uh, throw a light in it, and uh, that would work really really great. Um, the, yes. Yeah. Did you ha did you get the lights to come back on? You know, I didn't want to flip the the breaker because I assumed that there was. I saw that the bro breaker had flipped. And I assumed, and it could easily be just coincidence that he was drilling right. in, and I heard him the drill stop the moment that the lights went out. But I wasn't doing anything weird at the time. Um, I wasn't like I wasn't I wasn't running anything that I've never run before, and I've never had problems with the breaker before. So I was super worried that when I flipped the breaker, whatever screw was in whatever wire that uh, I assumed yes. tripped the thing would like catch the place on fire. So I emailed my maintenance because I'm at an apartment complex and told them the whole story, and they said, we'll just come and flip the breaker, and that's what they did. Um, completely unrelated, I've been on the phone with my insurance agent to make sure that my apartment insurance is up to date and, that, uh, and how to be reimbursed if my apartment burns down. Uh, <laughs> completely unrelated. Uh, but uh, definitely, I mean, falls in their court. I told them the whole story. I don't... I don't know how else to say. I really think that your construction workers drilled a nail or drilled a screw into one of my lights or into oh, one of my wires. That's very funny. What, one of so, my, yeah. my favorite power going out coincidence story, it was in the paper after the big blackout in the 90s when the entire city went out. And, and the story was this lady plugged her toaster oven in in the morning and it blew a fuse and she reset the circuit breaker and kind of forgot about it. And then at night she was getting dinner ready and she thought, oh, should I use that toaster oven again? She lives in a high rise and <laughs> overlooking the city. So yeah. she goes, I'll, I'll give it one more try. So she plugs it in, <laughs> there's, a, there's a spark and the entire city goes out. <laughs> Which she can see from her window. <laughs> that became like a, like a week long power outage in New yeah, York. She's thinking, Oh my that God! That toaster oven, no, <laughs> no. You know, it's uh, the first. This is the first time I've thought 
of what the actual solution may have been was that he was drilling it in and his drill was plugged into my power outlet. Oh, and when it went all the way in, it actually did flip the breaker. That's the first time that, okay, this is actually making me feel a lot better, that his drill probably flipped the breaker, and that's why the coincidence of the drill and the... Man, uh, Terum kind of helped me out with that um, yeah. because he said Cancel he probably had to stop insurance. drilling because he had no more power. So anyway, um, still going to follow up on the insurance, but uh, yeah, yeah. iFixit is, is a sponsor of this episode. They are fantastic. You know iFixit because of yes. the awesome tutorials and, and teardowns that they do. Of you know, they do all sorts. They've done the new Mac Pros. They've done iPods. They've done game consoles. What a lot of people don't know is that they have awesome uh, tutorials on how to fix all of your gear. It's not just teardowns. They have guides uh, on how to repair your consoles, on how to repair your phones, on broken screens, on iPods, iPads, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful repair guides. How could guides. you ever open an iPad? So they have, they have, it's glued together, so they actually sell a, these beads, these heated beads that you microwave and then lay on your iPad so that it warms up the glue what? so that you can suction cup it open. Um, they have some, some kind of crazy, oh, wow. they also give repairability scores on, on these sorts of things and the iPad obviously is not that repairable. But something like, like a, like a game console, if you want to try to upgrade the hard drive or you know something's failed, um, you can go to iFixit to help, help get it done. Or your laptop screen is much more repairable um, than that. They, they have over 100,000 repair guides, uh, smartphones, tablets, and, and things like that. Um, and so they also, you know, what if, you're, if, if something goes wrong and you need the parts to help fix it? Well, instead of searching around, they have all the parts that you need. I can see an iPod click wheel in there and I can, you know, the, it looks like various motherboards and cameras and batteries and things like that. They have everything you need. And um, of course, to get into your gadgets, you need tools. And in fact, I actually have the ProTech toolkit right here. This is the thing to use when you are getting into all of your gadgets. It has just, this is what is used by industry professionals all over. If you head uh, somewhere uh, to get your stuff repaired, they're most likely using the ProTech Toolkit, which is something that you should consider getting yourself. Inside of the ProTech Toolkit, there is all sorts of things underneath all of these flaps. It's nicely organized. I really like that. One of my favorite things is the 54-bit driver kit. Um, inside of here, you have all sorts of different uh, heads to repair all of your gadgets. You got Phillips bits, Pentalo bits, Torx, uh, and Torx security bits. You have tri-wing bits, and you even have triangle bits. And I love the triangle bits uh, because those are what you do to open up McDonald's toys. Uh, so if you need to repair a McDonald's <laughs> toy, uh, you have all of that. They even have one of my favorite things is this magnet. Um, and so let's say you accidentally drop a screw. This is in their, in their bits uh, thing. So let's just assume this is a screw. If you drop it in there, you can use the magnet to pick those things up. That's one of my favorite things that's uh, in, in this uh, driver kit. It also has a really nice. stylish, yeah. super stylish uh, swivel top precision driver. I, I, I mean, it, this is like jewelry for geeks, basically. I love, I love this thing. Um, so that's the 54-bit driver kit. But of course, there's all sorts of things, over 70 tools to help you with all any modification or, or uh, fixings that you need to, to have done. They even have uh, uh, safe tweezers for you, ESD safe tweezers. They have, here's a box cutter, just in case you need to cut open those warranty void uh, stickers. Um, so this is the ProTech Toolkit. And man, I mean, if you, need, if you have a, a geek's birthday that's coming up, is, this is this is perfect um, for you. So with iFixit, you can fix it yourself. If you visit ifixit.com slash twit, there are free step-by-step -step repair guides. Uh, iFixit also sells all the tools and parts that you'll need. Plus, if you enter the code gizwiz at checkout, you'll receive $10 off any purchase of $50 or more. That's ifixit.com slash twit. Use the code gizwiz uh, for that offer. And we thank iFixit for their support of the Gizwiz. This is such a cool company, such a cool product, and I, I know that you're just gonna be wonderfully happy if, uh, 
if if you purchase this because oh, when you purchase this really because everyone has gadgets that break and uh, needs needs repairing so sounds great now, yes now it is time for my crap of the week yes chad's crappy corner and <laughs> crappy corner and so this week um we're, we're sticking with the theme of food products okay so i went to the market and i got a, a little bit of food now the problem with keeping track of food, I'm right right now. I'm I'm currently uh, keeping track of everything that I'm eating. I'm I'm using my Fitness Pal to keep every calorie, every carb, every gram of sodium, uh, which I'm always okay. over on sodium. I eat a lot of I eat a lot of salt, uh, but it's it's difficult whenever um, you're trying to figure out exactly is that half is that half a cup is that fully a cup? What what the heck am I actually eating here? And so that's why I have... Is this to be healthy? You're not trying to... Are you trying to gain weight, lose no, weight? No, just, I'm keep just, weight? just to be healthy, just to, just to track just it, just to, to, to live find longer. Out. So okay. I have this portion control plate gadget. Here, I'm going to pull this down out of the way. And the idea behind this is that there's different sections to the portion control plate. Uh, you can use whatever plate you have. I have, ooh, I have just a circular plate here from, uh, from the kitchen uh, here at Twit. And in, inside of this plastic device, you should probably clean it before you use it, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but definitely, if you're buying this for yourself, go ahead and clean it. Um, it will fit on a plate, and now you can tell sort of what your portions are. Inside, down in the, in the middle, it's a little bit hard to tell, there's a line inside of there, and that line denotes if it's a half cup or if you fill it up all the way to the top, if it's a full cup. So I have a few okay. items here to yeah, test yeah. this out uh, with, I like right? Yeah, uh, yeah, like a demo of this. Right, so I have, I have a baked potato, and then I went over to, uh, to the, the market. That's why I have uh, this, uh, uh, all these things from the market in the bag. So first, let's go ahead and open up uh, what I have in here. And on, on the, uh, the portion control, it actually has different things. So over here, it says vegetables or fruit. Uh, here it says starch, and here it says protein. And if you look at the little thing it gave you, it kind of matches up if, uh, if you wanted vegetables, fruit, starch, or, or protein. Okay. Um, you don't have to follow along with, with all, you know, obviously, if you don't want, you know, the, the perfect balanced diet. So what oh, I'm going to do, nice. yeah, we got, we got our vegetables. So let's go ahead and take our vegetables here and put them into, which is the vegetable one? This is a vegetable one. Oh, get over on the other the, side. The three rings, though, are, are the same size, aren't they? Right, so they're all a, a okay. cup. So, <laughs> right. so it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm just, I was just going to say, you don't have to, I don't think I'm the, the, the uh, vegetable rules, you know? police are going to come after you if um, you... There we go. Okay. Got some squash in there. We got some... You have a little spillover. You know, here. Yeah. Uh -oh. Portion control. There we go. That's it. Get the portion control police. Portion police. Nope. Here. Here. Huh. He's putting veggies. There we go. I had to cut that in one in half. The fruit oh, cut out. Oh, that's really good. That's like garlicky. Ooh. There. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look. Look. It's portion. Yeah, you got to move that portion. Oh, over. Okay. Otherwise. Move that out. Hey, yeah. pal. Hey. Yeah, this, these portions. Here we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Thank hey, you. Hey, pal. Bella. You're over the line. There we go. So that's a cup of a cup of. Uh, Greens. Get that bean back behind right. the barrier. So this one's hey. starch right here. So let's go ahead and take our uh, our, <laughs> our baked potato and just... Uh, is, is that a macaroni that I see there on the side of the plate? Yeah, uh, we do. What? what we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So here, one I second. Know. Just saying, it's still there. There. Wow. There. Okay. I think that's how you <laughs> do a twice baked potato, right? You right. Just you used to out. color outside the lines when a you little work. Bit. It, a yeah, little bit. okay. It's there showing. And... Here, I'm also trying to do this a little bit yeah. fast. Here we go. So let's put the um, let's put the macaroni and cheese. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not going to use protein. I'm just going to macaroni and cheese is my protein okay. for today. Uh, but it is actually so th nice. there's no, there's no calorie counting here. This is just to show you how much you should be eating. Is is that well? It depends. I mean, what you would do is you would take these and then and you know for protein the line is actually much much lower down. So okay, you know the line is is smaller than the other ones. I'm not really doing protein correctly. I'm just kind of filling up the 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 thing here. But it would help you. It help you know that listen, I only ate a cup of oh I of mashed see. potato. Because I filled it okay. up to the cup line, right? And about macaroni mate not four work. quarts yeah. of macaroni and cheese. And we have one more here, so I'm gonna uh, fill that one up with uh, with my soup that I got. So oh, this should be go. interesting. There. Yeah, I was just gonna say, 
Oh, it did Actually, stay. Actually, it kind of really didn't kind of stay. It is leaking no, a little bit out a, of the bottom. I mean, but that is the thickest soup I have ever it's seen. It's chilly. It's chilly. So oh, now I guess let's, um, let's go ahead and pull this off because you wouldn't want to eat it with the... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought yeah. I would have there we go. it with it on. Uh-oh. The, oh. Yeah, kind of. But Let's anyway. Let's better with it on. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, so it is go. portion control because now it looks very unappealing. Yeah, you so now wanna... you can eat that with the... the soup kind of did kind of get all over there. Come on, I thought that would stay. Guess mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. All right. What does this guy cost? Um, that's a good question. Well, let, let's put it this way: What did it cost when we started talking about it? <laughs> this and morning. What did it cost now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's about it's eight dollars and ninety cents, okay. and uh, not, not too bad. I really do like this uh, how this baked potato turned out. Just kind of nice and yeah, nice. And all the macaroni right stayed in its place. The soup got out of hand. The, the soup, yeah, you, you know. I'm, don't be like me, folks. Don't put soup in your portion control thing. Uh, I was just trying to make a bit happen, but um, but yeah. So so that's it. You know, it's funny. I actually thought I would be mocking this um, a lot more, but it was actually that's a cup of potato, and yeah. now I know it's exactly. Well, a cup that's of a potato. very reasonable dinner that you've made right there. <laughs> and just you know, here we'll eat some of the, these green beans. Were actually really good. Come on, there we go. Very good. And the and the, the gadget name again is meal measure. Meal measure. Meal measure. Manage your weight with one portion at a time. Um, hopefully, don't manage it with soup. Um, no, that was kind of dumb. Um, but yeah, and uh, it also comes in a, very, a variety of different colors. So if you don't like red, you can get blue. You can get yellow. Um, and there's a lot, and and if you truly do stick to a uh, a normal diet, you could you could fill it with uh, vegetables, and fruit, or starches and things like that, just like it says actually on the meal measure. And uh, yeah, so that is the okay. meal measure. All right. Well, uh, washable on the top rack. It says you can wash it on the top rack of your uh, washing machine. I don't know if there's a big difference between the top and bottom rack, but apparently there is, because um, it okay. says do it that way. Um, but yeah. That is the meal measure. Anyone want some food? Because I already ate. Potato. You want some potato? <laughs> you don't want chili? No. It is very a chilly potato now. Ooh, the fork is falling. Uh, I didn't. I didn't mm. touch any of it with my hands. I don't you think. Squeeze I squeezed the skin of the potato. Yeah. Skin of the potato is over here. Anyone want some potato skins? Anyway, so that is the meal measure, uh, and. You know, get it if you if you're. Uh, it's also kind of fun if you want to yeah, no, craft a project with your yeah, children. It's good. It's good. Yep. Okay. Well, now it is time for Dick's gadget warehouse. <laughs> they're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's gadget warehouse. Normally, I clean up after... Don't play with your food, Chad. I'm, I'm just yes. making sure it doesn't get this place any more messy. There we go. Our gadget warehouse is going to be a viewer's video, and it starts with uh, an email that says, Hey, Jason, Dick, and Chad. Uh, I have a link to my submission for my favorite gadget, my IN18 Russian... Nexi tube clock. Ooh. I I hope you can show the video on the air. Thank you for all your hard work. Michael Dombrowski from Washington, D.C. And am I saying am I saying that right? Is it Nixie tubes? Yeah, yeah, Nixie tubes. Like oh, Nixie tubes are uh, from like years and years yeah. ago. Anyway, this Before is Before they had LEDs. Yeah, here's his video and Nixie tubes that evidently you can still buy. Here we go. Hello, Dick and Chad. Hi. Michael Dombrowski here, and I wanted to show you, maybe not my favorite gadget, but certainly one of my favorites, and that is an IN18 Nixie Tube clock. Nixie tubes uh, were generally made during the Cold War by Soviet Russia, and so I want to show you one of these tubes right now. They're pretty neat. 
Uh, and while I'm talking about them, I'll show you a bit of B-roll of the clock in action. Oh, wow. Oh, they're great. You know, Waz has a Nixie 2 watch. What? So here I have one of the six Nixie tubes from my clock. On the back, it says IN18 in Cyrillic, and it says CCCP with uh, the star. So we know it was made uh, when the Soviet Union was still around. And I find that really neat. It's an interesting piece of history as well as an interesting piece of technology. Uh, what happens is there's a gas in here uh, in this airtight tube and then you run an electric current through one of these pins on the bottom and that will cause one of the different forms of the numbers to light up. So there are numbers 0 through 9 in uh, one tube. So I have 6 so I can get a time uh, in hours, minutes, and seconds. So that's basically how they work. The clock that I bought was from a person in the UK, and he sent it to me. It was about $500, yeah, and that included both the board to drive uh, the tubes, as well as the tubes themselves. These tubes uh, can be pretty expensive. They can go anywhere from $25 to $50, and that is per tube, so you have to multiply that uh, by six for this specific clock. They make smaller Nixie tubes, different sizes, uh, that go for less money, but these big ones, these IN18s, are uh, generally more expensive. So for this project, I made my own board here, oh, cool. uh, just with a Arduino Nano and a real-time clock uh, breakout board from Adafruit.com. And uh, I wrote a program on this Arduino to control the clock and output the uh, correct time uh, over serial, RS-232 serial connections. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I bought this specific clock is that I can control it uh, with a computer or, or with a microprocessor such as the Arduino. More information about this project can be found at my website, mikedombrowski.com. You'll see it on the screen somewhere around here, mikedombrowski.com. <laughs> Uh, some subdirectory, it'll be on screen. Uh, and hopefully, if you show this, it'll be in the show notes. So I have code there for the sketch that runs on this Arduino, as well as some additional information about my specific clock. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. All that is on my site, mikedombrowski.com. Thanks for watching. That is super cool. I that is pretty neat yeah. yeah and mike yes um we did show you a video and and um uh, all that info will be in the show notes yes um J jason can you do a quick run through to see if waz nixie watch comes up well i met waz at some press event and i mean this watch he's wearing is enormous yep and and as mike said they make small and nixie tubes and Waz said he gets like um, two days out of a set of batteries yeah. for for this thing, but uh, but it's a great conversation piece, and uh, there, there it is. is. It's huge. Good, good. <laughs> look at how look, there's Waz, and there look at that. It has two tubes in there that'll flash the first the hour yes, and then they, the. Sitting in my seat next to somebody else, and we're flying halfway over the country. And I go through the. Is that allowed in? Twelve hour or twenty four hour mode. <laughs> then I go to the hours. I can adjust the hours up to you know time new time zone. Minutes, airplane? minutes, seconds, and then it gets to where I can actually set the angle that it, on my wrist that it's going to show the time. Oh, wow. And I select it, and it's all set. But when the people <laughs> sitting next to me see me pushing all these little buttons on a watch like this on yeah. an airplane, I'm wondering. Wondering what's going through their heads. Uh, yeah. Wondering what they're thinking. Yes, I, I wish I was on another flight. Is what they're yeah. thinking. Yeah. They're thinking, you guys, was why are you gonna make me so nervous? <laughs> that's pretty so amazing, cool. isn't it? That it really is amazing. Yeah. Um, anyway. And uh, it's just a, like how Nixie tubes work. There's there's all of those elements. There's ten elements in there, from zero to nine. That will light up based off of which you know which one is is present, and they're all lined up right in front of each other, and you can't see the others because the element that's lit is brighter. 
it's such a such a cool idea for and and such a cool way to solve an issue of we need to display all these numbers using you know in a small area and that's how they did it back in the day that uh, um, you know of vacuum tubes and you know where yeah computer transistors 50 50 bucks a tube oh Amazing. my gosh yeah um, Michael Dombrowski, thank you. You'll get a Mad Magazine, an Alfred E. Newman picture, some piece of crap. And fortunately, uh, we've got two or three entries, but we'll ask again. We're still looking for videos for when we run out. So if you'd like to have your video uh, submitted to the show, this is how you do it. Uh, shoot a little YouTube video, two to three minutes, three minutes tops, on any of the following categories. I invented this. I bought a piece of crap. My gadget warehouse. Uh, my favorite gadget of all time. And just post it on YouTube and send us the link. It goes to gizwiz at twit.tv. And, uh, you know, some we, we've had several combination gadgets where it was someone's favorite gadget, but it used technology of the past. All that stuff is great. Um, and we, we like sharing your videos with uh, our viewers. Gizwiz at twit.tv. Very, very cool. And now it is time for The Letter. Love that drop. Oh, I think I'm seasick. I know. I'm going to be food sick. <laughs> what was that? What were those shots in between? Did you throw up or what was that? The, oh, or was that your dinner? Oh, that was that. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's been <laughs> spreading out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it, went by, it went by so fast. I thought that soup was going to be a much funnier yeah. bit. But, so I'm going to uh, read this letter messy. and then, Jason, if we can cut to the link in his letter. Um... The letter of the week is from Yukesh Kumar, Y-U-K-E-S-H Kumar. Uh, the subject is tiny gadget that turns a smartphone into a laser pointer. What? Hey, Dick and Chad, this is my first time writing to Gizwiz. I was surfing the net. I came across this tiny gadget. Let me say, I don't own this gadget. I don't want this gadget. It doesn't cater to any of my needs. But I can see the appeal of this to anyone who has to put on presentations. I love the show. I look forward to each new and keep up the sub average work. Joking, of course. <laughs> Yukish Kama. And I'm just showing this to, uh, and also the notes will be, the, the, the link to this will be in the notes. But it is a tiny little, it's, it's like the size of a pin. That goes into, it looks like it might only be for the iPhone. And I think it's very expensive. I, I looked at this before the show, and I think it's, this thing is 56 bucks. Oh, that's interesting. I just noticed what he did. Uh, uh, you can do the laser pointer thing. This is all on a green screen. What he's showing is, is kind of fake. But let's say he needs to answer a call. You can flip it so that the, uh, the little co things don't connect with the inside of the headset, and now you can answer a phone call. Uh, oh, okay. Because okay. if you have anything plugged in the headphone jack, it's going to, uh, uh, it's going to interrupt you know, your call. It's going, to, it's going to assume. But yeah, I've seen this before. Um, on, oh, you've seen one of these? Well, I haven't actually seen one in person. I think they had a Kickstarter campaign. Um, okay, I think it's called, I think the official name is iPin. Yeah. Um, yeah, for some reason I remember a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. No, I, I thought it might be interested to... Do you, do you put on shows? I don't even know. I figured you might at some point, right? I mean, no, I don't think we have. Um, no, okay, okay. Yeah, unless if... Well, you know what? If you had this on the ship, you would really... Right, you, right. You'd be something, boy. My, my fear would, would be, you know, there's a big problem with people pointing lasers at... Uh, at uh, Airplanes. Other people. Yeah, well, well that's true. Air yeah. And I, if I'm you assuming accidentally this a... leave this in and it gets switched on, I, I hope there's a pretty easy toggle to make yeah. sure that you know. I'm also assuming this is a very low-power device. Right, right. You know, meant to be used in a, in a room. Um, yes, that's, that's true. Yeah. Um, it looks like they actually have a video of maybe a product demo here. 
Um, I'm not sure we could find out. Um, oh, yeah, the iPhone has it at the bottom of the phone. Uh, I forgot about that. That's what the, uh, I believe... That's so you right. put that tiny little guy in. Yeah. I guess you have to download an app so that it knows when to turn on. Turn, turn that little guy on. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's see if he gets the app. There he goes. Cue pin. He's going to hit it. Wow, that's one crazy app. Um, and then, oh, it, fl it rotates around. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Huh. I pin. That is the I pin. That is cool. Yukesh, really thank you for pointing this out <laughs> to us. <laughs> Aren't we so clever here? <gasps> we'll laser uh, something. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. 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 So don't be laser. <laughs> Get us your video. <laughs> Send us your emails over laser. Uh, that is about it for this episode. We well, we have a brand new. What the heck is it? Yes. Did you know what the other one was? Yes. Yeah, so uh, forever. Did you know what it was for real? For real. For real. For real. And it's so funny. I don't know. I don't remember where I saw this. Uh, let me let me go to uh, the what the heck is it uh, portion on the page. Right. Never scroll down. Um, that is made. Yeah. Don't scroll any further. Uh, that is made to keep uh, wine stems in your, the, it connects from your washing machine peg to the end of a wine stem to keep your glass from falling over in the dishwasher. That is correct. That is correct. Yes. Um, and it turns out that um, about 10 people knew for real what it was. Right. And so they all got mad magazines. But... The more fun thing for us are, are the crazy things, you know, like uh, these are just a few of the silly answers that one Mad Magazine. I think it's Bonnie's cane, uh, toilet brush, <laughs> uh, handle extender, a crowbar in fashion colors, toothbrush <laughs> extension for a deep mouth. Uh, I like this, too. I think it's a kickstand for someone with a peg leg. That's a good one. Clamp on handle for a witch's broom so she'll have a better grip. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, fun stuff. So now any idea what the new one is? Okay, so let me go look. Uh, okay. Let me see the new one. Wow, no. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> I look in the ditch chat room. Someone says, I put mugs in my dishwasher. I don't need a stand yeah. for wine glasses. I drink wine out of a mug. I'm a yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I have no idea. That looks... Well, that's good. That's good. It looks like a pacifier, but for well, you know, I'm not a allowed robot. To say anything. It looks like a robot could, pacifier. Could be. That was, that's, a, that's a good answer. Good answer. Um, um, yeah, so you have all of March and all of April to play, and guess what the heck is that? Weird. Uh, yeah. And uh, as you said, tw uh, 12 answers for people who get the right answer. 24, up to 24 autograph Mad Magazines for silly, stupid answers. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, gizwiz.biz. Click on what the heck is it. And everything we talked about, everything Chad talked about, all letters, everything is at gizwiz.biz. Best all the show stuff. notes ever. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I'm going to have to go on the ship with yeah. a lot of Princess Cruise. Uh, da, 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 da. What's oh, the name of the ship? The Princess what? The uh, Princess Caribbean. The Caribbean Princess, I think. On the good ship. Well, Doesn't quite work. Caribbean. Caribbean. <laughs> if you want to, you can have a carabiner when you go hiking. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard thing to rhyme. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close that video now. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, I will back to our normal time if you're watching this uh, pre recorded. Uh, if you're getting this in the feedback to our normal time of recording on Wednesdays at around 4.30 Pacific time uh, next week. And uh, 
Seven thirty my 7:30, time. Seven thirty Eastern. UTC. You can figure it out yourself and do the math because as I assume. We don't do no stinking math. We don't. No, not not on air. Oh, oh wait a minute. Also, it's going to be daylight savings time soon, or it is, or something. I don't know. Um, yes, it is actually. It'll be it'll be daylight savings while I'm on the boat. Oh my word! You'll it's get gonna, an extra hour. Yeah. Or you're going to lose an hour. No, you, uh, back. Spring ahead. Spring oh, forward. you're going to lose forward. an hour. Spring forward, you're right. Yeah, you're going to yeah, lose, so lose an hour with your cruise. Dang yeah. Um, they should refund right. me that money. Yeah. An hour of cruise. <laughs> I'll get like 20 bucks back. Yeah. Um, well, this was super fun. Uh, thank you so much, Dick. Thank you, everyone, uh, for watching, especially in the chat room or watching live. Or if you download it, of course, you can make sure you just subscribe to all future episodes at twit.tv slash gizwiz. There you'll find every, every single option you possibly want. SD, HD, and multiple versions. Audio only if you're going to be driving while you listen to the show. iTunes, Zune, absolutely everything uh, for you to subscribe and get it hand-delivered to you by robots every single week. I guess that's the opposite of being hand-delivered. It will be robotically delivered to you every single week. Uh, through the air. Through the air. Through, wow. through microwaves Whoa. and satellites. Wow. Wow. We go to space and back to bring this. Yeah. To you. Yes. Uh, and uh, that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next week. I'll Bye. I'll be here.